class. In this video, we're going to make our own dream steam trains. I like to start off by choosing a background, so I'm going to go to the three dots, background, and choose a color or colors I like. I like the multicolored ones. Then, I'm going to build my train tracks. I like to use the lines that are in the shapes so that I don't have to try to draw a straight line with my cursor. I'm going to drag it longer. I might make it a different color. And then I can click it and make another one. Make it a little further apart so it's like railroad tracks. If you want, you could put in the little wood pieces between it. But you don't have to because our train's going to cover a lot of it up. So I'm going to start building my engine now with some shapes. I'm going to click the three dots, shapes, and go to a square or rectangle shape. Bring it down to my train tracks. My engine, I'm going to start with a long one and a tall one. And you can change the colors of these two. I'm going to duplicate so I get the same color, but this one I want tall. There we go. Then I want to make a little triangle on the front of mine. So I'm going to go and pick out a triangle. But I gotta turn it with the little tool right here and make it bigger so it matches. And then I want the little buffer, the thing that stops things from getting in its wheels. So I could use another triangle for that. And this one's also facing the wrong way, so I want to turn it, put it this way. And maybe I want these colors to match. Maybe I try to make it the same green. Then I can put uh, more details on my train, like the whistle and the chimney stack. So I can hand draw those or use more shapes. So I'm going to use more shapes and turn this upside down and drag it down. And maybe some other shapes to help me. That could be the top of it. Make a smaller one for the top of this one. And maybe these are purple. Then I can add, say, a window shape for my conductor, the person that drives the train. A little too big there. There we go. And of course, don't forget some wheels. So let's see. There we go. So I'm going to go and get some circles for some wheels. Make them smaller so that they can fit between my train and the tracks. A little too small. There we go. I like that size. Choose my color. And then duplicate. That makes another one. There we go. Now I can start making a carriage. So I might use that square shape again. Maybe it's shorter or wider for the carriage. Maybe it's orange or pink, whatever color I'd like it to be. And make another window. Oh, that window doesn't fit, so I'm going to make it fit a little better. There we go. And then this needs wheels too, so I'll copy those wheels over. And then we need a caboose. So I can either go back to shapes or just duplicate this one. And pick out a color for that. Mm. Oh, I like that blue. And then give that a window and give that the wheels. I can add more details to the wheels too by making a smaller circle inside of them.
I can add platforms to my carriages. So I could take shapes and resize them, make a little platform on top. And don't forget to connect all your trains together. So you could either just use the hand tool or go back and get some lines. I'm just going to use the, the drawing pen tools to connect my trains. And then draw what your trains are carrying. Are they carrying animals? Are they carrying basketballs and stuff like that? Are they carrying beds and furniture? So you might use pen tools or shapes to make those. I'm going to maybe make a little penguin traveling on mine. So I'm going to make a black bump here. Maybe as a little penguin friend. And another one inside the window. I'm going to give him a little white belly. And did you know when you use this pen tool, if you click on it, you can change the size. I'm going to make it a little smaller. For their eyes and for their nose. And even smaller for inside their eyes. Oh, and I'm going to go back to medium because I forgot to give them some wings. The penguins don't fly, but they still have wings. And that helps them swim in the water. Now you can come up with whatever details you like. So I might add my own detail like some smoke coming out of my train. Maybe you want clouds or a sky up there with some birds. So you decorate this how you would like. And like I said at the beginning, those train tracks, our train was going to be blocking, but I see a little tr track right here. So I could put my little, my little bricks in of my train track if I wanted to put those details in. All right, you guys have fun creating. I hope you enjoy this project.